And now in business, since the importation of COVID-19 into Nigeria and the rising number of cases, Nigeria's President Muhammadu Buhari on Monday called for a second 14 days lockdown in major commercial states in the country. This has hit hard on various businesses in the country, primarily the small and medium scale businesses. And joining me now is Plus TV Africa's business analyst, Irene Ubani, who has been speaking with SMEs across the country. Good afternoon, Irene. Good afternoon, Amaka. And it's good to have you to bring a new perspective to the matter. Now, um, Irene, what are the fears of these small-scale business owners? What have you discovered so far? It's quite an unfortunate situation because most of these small-scale business owners actually started off their businesses either by accepting a loan, you know, and unfortunately, this is a lockdown which has kept... All, virtually all of them on a standstill. Recall that these business owners, most of them, because of the way you know they started, they are, they are just survival businesses. They are not sustainable. And so some of them have had to start putting their hands into their you know, savings to pay up salaries, of which they don't know how long this would you know, last for. And as well, we also have a situation where some of these SMEs have not even broken even, which is where they are making, where they've made the money for which they used to start up their businesses before they start to count their profit. And then this lockdown situation hit them so hard. And for, there was a particular person that I spoke with Earlier, he did mention to me that just within the first week of the lockdown, he had to do a flash sale, which was slashing down the price of you know, what it was he was producing so that he could rake up as much money as he could make, at least to um, hedge the impact on their staff. He knew that he had to pay off their, the um, salaries of his staff at that time to ensure that each of them had what to take home for their families. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about breaking evil, even rather, and income, what is the average earning time frame, uh, time frame of the ad average Nigerian? Oh, my. Uh, so there's a report by Efina, and it showed that 32% of Nigerians earn daily, which is whatever it is they have, they're taking home is dependent on what they're able to make when they go out to work per day. 17.5% of Nigerians earn weekly, while uh, about 18.5% of Nigerians earn monthly. However, there's still the segment of people, which is another 18.5%, that earn occasionally. Take, for example, that um, the mechanic that comes to fix your car. He's within the informal sector. So it's based on whatever it is, the 1,000 naira that you give him for you know, the job he has done, 2,000, 3,000, that's what he's earning. And then there's still the... There's, there was a report by IMF as well that showed that 65% of Nigeria's economy is actually dependent on the informal sector. So you should already know by these figures that it's those within the lower end of the pyramid that are really heavily affected by you know, this lockdown. Irene, you've been speaking to so many different experts uh, you know, in this field. You've been doing a lot of research and work also. What are your predictions for the MS, uh, SMEs after the lockdown is over? Now, um, unfortunately, some may have to what we we'll call closure. You know, that's ending their businesses. This is because it's a different, it's a different ball game when you have to deep from your profit. And then it's an entirely different ballgame. By the time the lockdown is over, you have finished your capital. So they wouldn't even have the money to start off their businesses again. So that is one. Some businesses will have to close down and then maybe venture into some other, um, you know, business ideas, whatever it is they have. While some others, the profit expectations for both the first quarter, they don't know if the pandemic will be over by the second quarter. So first quarter profit is already wiped out. Second quarter profit is already wiped out for some. So of course, they would have to start grappling around trying to make up for the lost um, months, you know. Thank you so very much, Irene Ubani, for bringing us up to speed in what all that is happening in the business world. Thank you, Amaka. Thank you.